Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to grant all permissions to a user in MySQL server. So I have uh, two MySQL servers here. One of them is uh, installed on Windows and one of them is installed on Linux. So pretty much the same commands you are going to use them there in the Windows. Uh, what you have to do, you have to go to the bin directory and that's where your MySQL, D MySQL is. Uh, once you are there, uh, open a command line and then say MySQL-U-P and uh, that will uh, start ask your username and password and then uh, you will uh, uh, open uh, command line here I have shown you in many time in the previous videos uh, now what we would like to create uh, we would like to create our user here so let's say create uh, so create user first uh, create user I'm gonna call this one is a uh, demo okay and at the rate localhost okay so this will user will be only able to connect uh, from uh, this uh, machine uh, identified by password so my password dollar sign one two three okay now this uh, user is created um, next part what we need to do here we have to grant him permission so first uh, let's see show grants uh, for this user so let me copy if i can right here so no i didn't copy it here okay at the rate localhost now if you'll see there are not really whole lot of uh, permissions here so we have a grant usage on uh, this that's all it has um, so what we can do here we can grant all the permissions so how we do that so we'll say grant all so it means grant everything on asterisk dot asterisk mean um, on every object like all the database and everything to our demo so demo at the rate localhost okay and uh, now it's done and uh, we will say flush pri privileges okay great now we have flushed the privileges and here we will say show grants for so i'm mean, just gonna use the arrow keys uh, to bring that uh, um, show grants for local host and now you can see that uh, it has uh, all those uh, permissions so show grants for local uh, demo at the rate local host and uh, it is showing you grants for uh, demo right here it has select uh, delete update insert create uh, objects and all that so it has a lot of permission because you have given uh, all the permissions so you have given a grant all on on everything to this uh, demo host if you will go to the linux box uh, there you are going to do the same thing uh, it is um, i don't know if you would like to see that but if you uh, you want to stop the video you can stop the video and uh, you don't really need to uh, watch this uh, video here it says the same steps uh, so let me see login to mysql so now uh, what we will do same same way create user uh, we call it uh, uh, maybe a demo here as well okay at the rate localhost or if you would like to connect maybe i would like to connect uh, to, from the ip 10.0.0 that's ip of my windows machine so i want to create this demo user that should connect from this machine to this uh, linux mysql server here okay and identified by the password so my password dollar sign one two three here and now if we say show grants uh, for and then uh, let me copy paste this part of it and uh, you will see so it is uh, it doesn't have a lot of things it just have a uh, you know kind of connectivity uh, permissions right now so what we have to do we have to say if we want to grant everything so we would say grant so grant all on asterisk dot asterisk to our demo at the rate 10.0.0.5 okay and then run it so one row affected flush the privileges okay and now if we'll say show grants for and uh, it will show us uh, all the permission uh, this user has uh, now so this is how you will look uh, uh, grant permissions uh, uh, all the permissions to the user in the windows and uh, in the linux box uh, no difference really commands are same just uh, it is uh, the mysql uh, um, command line that you are connecting here you are connecting from the bin uh, here you are connecting uh, from the my from the linux box so that's all it is uh, you can also use a workbench and run these commands from there so let's say if i have a workbench installed on one of the windows machines 
machine i can open and connect to one of the machine with my root permissions and then i can run the same commands like create user provide permissions whatever from there as well if you have a workbench and you don't want to write the commands you can go to the users and privileges and also you can click here one of the user you can um, add account delete account whatever you can change the permissions if you want to change permissions from here as well and you can simply hit apply so uh, if you have a uh, uh, workbench install it to make life very easy to create uh, those users and provide the permissions but if you don't have it is fine you can always go to command line command commands are very easy I will put in the description so you can copy and paste thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video